welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to study practice set 6.1 of the chapter circle let us without wasting much time let us proceed towards the first question the first first question is distance of chord ab from the center of the circle is 8 cm length of the chord is 12 cm find the diameter of the circle okay so let us check whatever is given here in the question okay so now distance of chord ab from the center can you see this distance this is the, this is the distance of chord ab from the center of the circle okay this is 8 cm then what else is given length of chord ab is 12 cm this is a chord which is 12 cm okay this 12 cm is given to us so this is the given information how are we going to solve this so let us understand first let the center of the circle be O. Now, why are we saying to let the center of the circle be O? Because this circle is this circle is made by us. Okay, okay. So that's why we say let the circle of the center be O because there is no na na name of the center given in the question. Secondly, OM is perpendicular to chord AB. So we write on whatever is given in the figure. So OM is perpendicular to AB. We'll say let that perpendicular be AB chord AB such that A dash M dash B. Okay. Now, after that, we say therefore, AM. Now, this AM will be, this AM will be, AM will be half of AB. Why will it be? Because it, when there is a perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord, it bisects the chord. So, we write down AM is equal to half of AB. Okay, and we write out the property perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord by 6 the chord. It is very important to mention the property. So, AM is half of AB. So, AM next, in the next step, AM is half of 12. Why? Because the length of AB is 12. So, A, that will be equal to 6 cm. So, I've got AM which is 6 cm. I know this OM which is 8 cm. Yes, we know that OM is 8 cm. So, if I know these two sides, can I find out OA? Yes, so if I want to find out the length of OA, isn't it the hypotenuse of uh, the triangle? Yes, uh, so therefore, the length of OA, okay, this, this will be the OA. So, if this is the hypotenuse of the OA, so I will be applying the Pythagoras theorem to this. But before that, I will say in triangle OMA, OA square. OA square will be equal to OM square plus AM square. Why? Because and they are the remaining sides of the right angle triangle. So, according to that Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So, OA square is equal to AM square plus AM square. But OM is how much children? 8 and AM is 6 we have just found out here yes so that becomes 8 square plus 6 square which is 64 plus 36 which gives us 100 okay so what do we have what we do we get uh, oa square is equal to 100 okay we have got oa square is equal to 100 so if i want only oa uh, with the square will go here it will become the square root of 100 which will be 10 so oa is equal to 10 centimeter yes we have got oa which is 10 centimeter now after getting this, what will we do? This OA is nothing but the radius of the circle. Yes, so the radius of the circle is 10 cm. And if I am being asked, what I have been asked to do? See, in the question, I have been told to find out the, I have been told to find out the diameter of the circle. Yes, so if I want to find out the diameter of the circle, what will it be? It will be double of the radius yes so if it is double of the radius it will be diameter will be 2 into radius which will be 2 into 10 which is 20 so diameter of the circle is 20 centimeter let us proceed towards the next question diameter of a circle is 26 so diameter is given to us which is 26 centimeter it is not shown here the diameter is not shown in the figure here yes but what else is shown? Uh, the length of the chord of a circle is 24 centimeters. So this is 24 centimeters. Okay. And diameter is given. Actually, the entire diameter is given like this, which is 26. So if diameter is 26, this will be 
13, right? So let us see how are we going to solve. What are we told to find out? We have been told to find out the distance of the core from the center of the circle. Yes, so this is this green thing is what we are supposed to find out. And this red part is given to us. Okay, so let us see how will we proceed. So now, what is what will we write first? We will write down whatever is given. Let O be the center of the circle and AB be the given chord. OM is perpendicular to chord AB such that A dash M lies between A and B. Now, time meter of the first thing that is given here in the question, if you see what is given here that diameter of the circle diameter of the circle is 26 centimeter yes so if diameter of the circle is 26 centimeter then radius will be half of 26 which will be 13 now once i get this once i get this a o okay i've got a o now so i've got the radius of the circle i've got o a which is 13 and what am I supposed to prove now? So I have to, I have got the length of this chord also, but the chord is 24. If I want to apply this to this right angle triangle, I'll have to take the half of it. So if for diameter also we took half of this diameter, here also we'll take the half of this chord, okay, because this is bisecting the chord. So I'll say AM is equal to half of AB, which is half into 24, which is a 12 centimeter. So, right now, what have I got to do? See, I have got, if you look at in this figure, what have I got? Let me highlight it. Okay. So, we have got OA. Okay, we have got OA, which is half of diameter, which is 13, which we have got from here. Okay. This we have got. Secondly, we have got half of this chord, okay, half of this chord which is 12 centimeter, okay. So, we have got this as 13 and we have got this as 12 and we have to find out this length of OM, okay. So, if I want to find out the length of OM, what will I do? I will apply the Pythagoras theorem and I will say OA square is equal to AM square OM square plus AM square. So, we will substitute the values here in the question. We have OA given to us. Okay, OA, OA is OA is 13, so 13 square. OM, we don't know, we have to find out. And AM is 12, half of 24, which is 12. So 13 square will be 169 is equal to OM square plus 144. So which will be OM square plus is equal to 169 minus 144 because when this 144 will go on the other side, it will become minus 144, which will give you 25. So, OM square is 25. So, OM will be uh, OM will be will be a square root of 25 which will be 5. Okay. So, I have got OM as 5 centimeter. So, this is your answer. Okay. So, distance of the chord from the center of the circle, the center is 5 centimeter. Let us proceed towards the third question. Radius of the circle is 34 centimeter. So, let us check what is given to us. Okay. So, radius is given to us which is 34. Okay. What else is given? Distance of the chord from the center is 30. So, distance of the chord is given to us which is 30. Okay. Distance of the chord is given to us which is 30. Now, what are we supposed to find out? Find the length of the chord. So, from the Pythagoras theorem, can I get AM? Yes, from the Pythagoras theorem, I can easily find out AM. And once I get AM, I will find out what is AB. Okay. So, let us do that. So, let O be the center of the circle and AB be the given chord. OM is perpendicular to AB such that M lies between E and C. Now, in right angle triangle. So, straight away, we use the Pythagoras theorem and we say that O A is a hypotenuse to win. Yes, so we'll say O A square is equal to O M square plus A M square. Okay, so O M square, O A square is equal to 34 and O M is equal to 30. So we'll substitute the values. Now the square of 34 is 1156 and the square of 30 is 900. 
So a n square will be 1156 minus 900 which will give us 256. Now after doing this I need to find out what is a n. Now a n will be equal to square root of 256 which will be 60. So once I get the value of a n, once I get the value of a n, this is 16. But I have been told to find out the length of the chord. Okay. So if I want to find out the length of the chord, if this is 16, then this will also be 16. Yes. And once the length, uh, so let us see how we do that. So our first will give the reason that we cannot directly start uh, say that a b is double of a b. we have to give the reason so we say that perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord and therefore a m is half of a b okay now when a m is half of a b we substitute the value of a m we substitute the value of a m as sixteen. see here the 16 we will write down here okay so 16 is equal to half into a b so this half this half goes on the other side it becomes 2 upon 1 and it becomes 16 into 2 which will be equal to 32 so we have got the length of the uh, chord which is 32 centimeter okay let us proceed towards the next question Radius of the circle with center O is 41 unit. So this is given to you. Length of the chord is 80 units. Okay. Find the distance of the chord from the center of the circle. So what is given here children? Let us have a look. So we say that let OM be the per OM perpendicular to PQ such that M lies between P and PM is half of PQ. PM is half of PQ. So the length of PQ is given to us. So we will just substitute. See if you look here in the question. What is given? Length of chord PQ. Okay. So this PQ is given to us which is 80. See. So PM is half of 80 which is 40. So from uh, the given information i get only the half of the chord which is p which is 40 yes so i get this pm which is 40 units can you see here yes and then therefore i say pm is equal to 40 units then in right angle to, this is already given to us this op is already given to us so i need to find out what is om so we'll apply pythagoras theorem and we'll find out what is om Okay, so OP square is equal to OM square plus PM square. We substitute the values. OP is 41. PM. OM we have to find out. PM is square. We have found out which is 40. So we substitute the values. And when we subtract, we get OM square is equal to 81. So from this, we get OM is equal to square root of 81, which is 9 units. So. The distance of the chord, OM is 9 units means the distance of the chord from the center of the circle is 9 units. Next, in the figure, center of two circles is O, chord AB of the bigger circle intersects the smaller circle in points P and Q. Show that AP is equal to AQ. So let us understand what is given here. Now in the figure, center of two circles is O. Okay, that is given to us. Center is O. Chord AB of the bigger circle intersects the smaller circle at points P and Q. Show that AP is equal to AQ. So, for how do we start this? We first draw the make the construction. We draw OM perpendicular to chord PQ. Okay, also it will be applicable to the entire PQ. Okay, we will see that now. Since chord OM is perpendicular to PQ, the smaller chord, okay, this chord. So if it is perpendicular, PM will be equal to MQ. We will give the reason perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. Similarly, this OM is also perpendicular to chord AB. So we will say that OM is perpendicular to chord AB. Okay, so we will we'll include AB also now. This. Okay. So it is perpendicular to AB and therefore AM is equal to MB. Okay, AM is equal to MB, which is number 2. Now, 
In the next statement, what do we write? AM. Now, AM is equal to MB. So, we will be instead of instead of AM. Okay. AM, AM is what? AM is the addition of P and B. Let me show you. So, if I want to show what is AM. Okay. If I want to show what is AM. Okay. It is the addition of AP plus PM. Yes, so that is what is written here and if I have to show what is MB, okay, if I need to show what is MB, then I will say it is the addition of NQ and QB, right. So, in, in, in place of AM and MB here at the top, instead of this AM is equal to MB, we write down AP plus PM and NQ plus QB, this we write down here. So let us see what happens in place of AM I write on AP plus PM in place of MB I write down MQ plus QB. Okay, so then what happens? See, now in the next part what will happen is but PC here AP become equals to QB because PM is equal to MQ. How is PM equal to MQ? Because it has already been shown here. See. In this statement now AP, PM, see here, PM and MQ, they are equal. It's been given here. Yes, so since it's been given here, they are equal. So automatically AP and QB also becomes equal. And as a result, we say that AP is equal to BQ. Okay, now 